What's up, everybody? Nook is back here for, finally, the movie review reviews of Vanquish, The Virtuoso, and The Woman in the Window. I've got three videos to record for you guys today. I'm going to be filming one more, a Walmart Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video for you guys. That'll be up later on tonight. This is Vanquish. I purchased this last Tuesday. This was a blind buy. It was 15 bucks. I watched the trailer for it the night before and figured, well, I like the trailer. Morgan Freeman's in it. It can't be that bad. Let's get into it. So this is the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack. I did a, uh, a Blu-ray unboxing of this. This only comes with one special feature, and that is a director's commentary. This is all about a mother named Victoria played by Ruby Rose. And she wants to put her past as a Russian drug courier behind her. But, but, retired cop Damon forces Victoria to do his bidding by holding his daughter hostage. So now she must use guns. Victoria must use guns and a motorcycle to take out a series of violent gangsters or she may never see her child again. This is 96 minutes. It's 89 minutes without the end credits. It is rated R for bloody violence, language, some sexual material, and drug use. This says five gangs, one woman, one night, and a thousand bullets. This movie should have just been fun. And was it fun to a point? Yes, but it's a mess. This movie is a complete mess. Starting off with the editing. The editing is so choppy. It's such quick cut editing. It's like you, you are watching... A, uh, a Paul W.S. Anderson Resident Evil movie. Monster Hunter had some messy editing, but that actually had a lot going for it, in my opinion. I love that film because I had fun with it. Was, was editing one of the major problems? Yes, but it was the only major problem to me. This, the editing, is just the beginning. Ruby Rose is so flat. Just so flat. There's points where... You are kind of rooting for Morgan Freeman in a way because you like Morgan Freeman. Unless you watched Batwoman for the one season that Ruby Rose was on it, I don't think you're going to care for Ruby Rose. I'd never heard of Ruby Rose before Batwoman. I had never heard of her. And this is coming from, from somebody who watches a crap load of TV and movies. I literally watch a crap load of TV and movies. I'm, I'm going to pull up her... IMDb, the first credit that comes up is Orange is the New Black. Well, that's why, because I've never seen it. She was Adele in Triple uh, X Return of Xander Cage. That was fine. Uh, SAS Red Notice, if that comes out in a little bit on Blu-ray. The Doorman, I did not see The Doorman. Uh, Batwoman as Kate Kane. Uh, a bunch of Kate Kane, Batwoman. The Meg Jax, yes, she was... In the Meg, uh, Pitch Perfect 3, uh, just a bunch of other stuff. Now, this movie should have just had a fun overall action feel to it while still being well made. But the problem here is the story is not that interesting. It's an interesting story once you get into the meat of it. Well, no, not once you get to the meat of it. Once you get to the beginning of the film... And you, you, you are seeing what Victoria j does and has to do with Morgan Freeman. Once we get to the whole holding your child hostage situation because you need to defeat these five gangs, it's not that interesting. She's doing it basically so that he doesn't have to because they are after him. This movie is one that... I was really looking forward to because, one, I love the cover to it. I love Morgan Freeman, and I love fun action flicks. Now, the action was fun when it was not quick-cut editing. There's a scene where it looks like she's defeated, and she's, she, she's just fought with this gang, and there's a bunch of cocaine on the table. Morgan Freeman is talking to her in her ear, Basically telling her where to go and who these people are and what she has to do. There's cocaine on this table that she is lying beside. And he just whispers in her ear, the cocaine, the cocaine. 
So she takes the cocaine and she just completely goes batshit insane and is a superhero for like a few a, a few seconds, like 20, 20, 30 seconds. And she ends up defeating those people. This movie is a big jumbled mess, but it's a fun jumbled mess. Not like the woman in the window, which I'm going to talk about in two videos from now. Uh, so you'll see that in a couple days. This one was fun to a point. I at least enjoyed the, the, the first 30 minutes of this. Once we get to the meat of what's going on, and once we get to the meat of the movie, then it just kind of just stalls. You are seeing her go after these gangsters, and it's fun for a little bit, but it just gets repetitive. Vanquish is a mediocre flick, but if you want a good action film or a fun action film and a mindless action film and not wor worry about it getting repetitive or just a bad script and a bad storyline that gets old very quick, then I'd say check it out. But if you are wanting to get one like I wanted, a fun action flick with a good story, an intriguing script, and a well and executed well, then you're not going to get that. But I will probably say that I will probably wa watch this again sometime down the line. I did enjoy The Poison Rose with Morgan Freeman uh, and John and John Travolta. So this one kind of had that, that feel to it, but I, I think that The Poison Rose is still better. So I'm going to give Vanquish the same grade that I gave The Poison Rose. I'm going to give Vanquish a C. It's a mediocre flick, but it's still good in a way. I'm not going to bump this down to an F because this was wrong with it and this was wrong with it. When I have fun with the movie, I'm still going to tell you that I had fun with the movie and that's still a positive for me. Now, the next video is going to be uh, my Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video where I'm going to, to, to be picking up a few things and you guys will see that later on tonight. So I will see all of you guys next time.